Okay, so it's like a quarter after 11 at night, and it's been raining off and on. We had some pretty bad storms come through. Um, and our patio actually is leaking water now. Hey, I just want to point out that your sweater matches the uh, RV. It was my Christmas present from Michaela. She must have known that we were getting <laughs> getting that. It matches my truck. That's why she got it for me. But all right, so I have to go through this stupid swamp to move the car. So I got Nick's. These are Nick's. I got <laughs> Nick's water shoes on, but my pants rolled up so that they don't get wet. Isn't she a good wife? Going in the water. Well, she's got the water boots. She stopped in another puddle. Oh my god. <laughs> Anytime it rains, there's a big storm or something. Oh, some of these campsites get pretty flooded. There's about three inches of two to three inches of water uh, separating me from the pull handles. To be able to empty my tanks. So yeah. We're back in Virginia and uh, we spent the morning um, just hanging out a little bit and then we went to church and then we had uh, lunch with our family mm -hmm. and now we are heading to a friend's house no. or we're gonna meet the, our we're, friends we're gonna meet our friends at um, the fairgrounds yep you've seen them on the channel before Kendall and Margo and they own the DRP collision shop um, you want to give us your chairs yes oh, I'm on we'll YouTube. Just, Olo. Yes. Hi. Making your YouTube debut. Hi. That's Margo. Um, We're we, going to hang out with them and yeah. watch some fireworks and maybe have some good vendors. We don't know what all is going to be there this evening. Yeah, we're going to check grab, it out. Did you grab the chairs? Yep, got chairs. Got four chairs. Yeah. We got three chairs. They're going to have to fight over one of them. Figured we'd just start showing you what our lives are like. We're back in Virginia for a little while. Uh, there have been some issues, <laughs> but we'll talk about that later. Um, but for now, let's go see some fireworks. How are you? Hey, good. How are you doing? Doing good. How, how many people? There's is? four of us. Four. Then it's twenty dollars for the car load. You yeah. go ahead and follow that SUV right there. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Finally got here, but now we're waiting in line. We had friends come up. They because are grabbing the chairs. We were late. Yeah, we're late. So now we're waiting in line. It's my fault. He didn't want to leave. Yeah, I just wanted to lay around the house. He's a homebody. Yesterday was busy. The bike ride and stuff. It's always busy when you're home. No. I don't know if y'all know, you know, y'all do that too. Like, you, every weekend during the summertime is always usually slam packed with activities and get togethers and usually ball games and soccer games, you know, all of those things, basketball, soccer, baseball. And then if you're not doing that, you're at someone's pool or someone's house or they're over your house. You, you know, it's always, always go, something. go, go, go. On top are, of your We normal... are busier when we're back home than we are when we're on the road. That's like, you know, that's on top of your normal nine to five job and doctor's appointments and bed appointments and all of those things. So when we're home, it's all day, every day doing something like yep. we get off of work, we go do something. I enjoy it. I just, it's good to be able to have nothing to do also. <laughs> At least we don't have to do yard work this year. No, that's true. I don't miss mowing grass at all. No. RV um, perk, living in an RV, no grass. time for everybody mm, I said I'm an idiot I filled my Berkey up and left it in the sink so all the filtered water just went in the sink oh. there now 
now we'll have to Okay, so it's like a quarter after 11 at night, <laughs> and it's been raining off and on. We had some pretty bad storms come through. Um, and our patio actually is leaking water now. There's there's trails of water kind of coming down from the bolts up here, uh, up towards the top, and then it's puddling down at the bottom. My guess is it's coming in. It's hard to get the flashlight in there. It's coming in right under this plate, probably, because that's where the metal is separated. And it's running through some crack in the wall or the trim and coming out from underneath the wall. In the interior. In the interior. Yeah, and these things are made of what you know RVs and water don't mix. So we're wondering if it's actually coming through the bolts of the door itself and maybe leaking through, or if it just got wet somehow and this is residual water coming out of it. We don't really know at this point. But what I do know is we've had puddle of water on our floor twice now and we're trying to soak it up. And uh, so I think tomorrow what I'll do is my idea again, maybe put some rice right there just to try to soak up as much moisture as possible and then put the fan on it. Yeah, dry out the wall. Hopefully it'll stop raining. Well, we gotta put caulk on the inside. And then dry oh. this out and caulk the inside. Of the patio. Of the patio where all the metal is, the metal framing. Um, and maybe that can help prevent it, but. Yeah, can't do anything in pour down rain, so. Yep. It is what it is for tonight. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna try that before we call and, and make a fuss about this. We're gonna try to do a little bit of troubleshooting on our own and uh, figure it out. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. It's you know. Yeah. It's just I a. Mean, it, it really has been raining. I think it's been it's been all pouring day. all day, so. <laughs> Uh, for the time being, I just put the awning out about a foot, just enough to cover the side for a little while to see if we can't let it dry out a little bit, and then we'll just retract it back before we go to bed. Yep, that's it. It's 11 o'clock at night. This is RV life for you. 11 o'clock at night, and we got water on our floor, but we'll work through it. We'll figure it out, and then uh, give you guys an update. Water is not our friend. No, it's not. And we continue to run into issues. So to catch you guys up, yesterday it was raining really hard and we noticed there was some water collecting on our floor, like right beside our kitchen slide. And it's coming from underneath the wall. And it's actually because the patio door is collecting water and draining it on the inside between the patio door and the sliding door. There's like a six inch Metal, metal like platform right where the patio like a threshold when the patio um gates are shut it like sets in that little hole um so it's between the patio door and the sliding glass door yep. is a gap and that gap had a like good inch? half inch to inch of yeah. water consistently not just not just like it you know it, it was there and then it was gone it was consistently like we tried shoving towels in there we dried it up several times we, we opened the patio door and took a squeegee and squeegeed all the water off. Yep. As took best the as we leaf could. blower, tried to get as much water out as possible. I even put rice on the floor, like thinking maybe after it stopped raining, it would help draw the moisture out of the, out of the floor. from underneath the, um, between the wall and the yeah, floor. It's like this little tiny gap that's like this big that, that starts yep. draining the water. Water will always find a way. Yeah. So, called Grand Design today, told them what was going on, and, uh, the response I got was, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it, it's pretty bad. And so Lipper has the new waterproof, weatherproof um, patio doors on uh, the 2021 models and 2022 models. Some of them on the back patio, water leaks from the bottom bolts. Well, ours has not done that until. Back one hasn't done it at all. Back one hasn't done it at all, but it's not the waterproof. It's not the new door. It's yep. the old door. So, and, and we've had other things, like the bolts came loose on the side patio door. Yeah. We've had to tighten those up. There's a gap between like where the part you walk on and the outside trim. That's There's no caulk. But they said that that's the way it's designed so it can drain the water. Yeah. Well, the problem is, is the water's draining on the in that gap instead of outside. 
right. um, which is causing problems on the inside. So if they don't know about the problem, then they can't fix it. So we, you know, we want to make sure that they're aware and we figure out a solution to fix it. So if you have followed the channel at all, you know that we have been to Affinity RV when we first got this RV and they helped us put the stairs on the back. We're going to be taking it back to Rod at Affinity RV. We got the, we got the approval from Grand Design. Yep. Um, I've sent them a bunch of pictures and we have a case number. Um, we're also going to try to coordinate to where we have a Grand Design rep mm. and, okay. and or a Lippard rep actually come out and look at this. You shouldn't make a, a waterproof or weatherproof proof door that, right. that leaks on the inside, not the outside. So we have a month. Um, I'm going to caulk it as, the best I can. When it stops raining. If it ever stops raining. And, um, Good old hurricanes. Yeah, we're going to caulk it the best we can and um, just try to keep the water out from underneath the wall yeah. So we, at this point. Yeah, so once it's dry completely, we're going to set up some fans and make sure it's extremely dry um, before we put caulk on it because we don't want mold and all of that to occur yep. because of something we were doing. So, um, And then others on the Grand Design page have mentioned caulking around the patio door itself uh, where the the rubber gasket is there's like a gap right there that has a, a bead of caulk but of course everybody knows caulk can crack and disintegrate so yeah. um, we're going to make sure all of those are the way they're supposed to be and hopefully yeah it doesn't keep continuing which luckily when we just went through a bunch of rainstorms in the last month and it hasn't leaked at all so last night was the first time that it's leaked and it was bad it, was, it, it leaked pretty like yeah, it wasn't it was just bad. a little bit <laughs> For the um, first time, it went all out. <laughs> the other side of the story is that the flexibility that you have to have when living in an RV. Because we have plans starting August 1st. Like, we have plans to be touring the Northeast again, um, all the way from Virginia to Maine this time. And that's supposed to start August 1st, but we've already... <laughs> sorry, I like talking to my hands. Hey, you're right, putting it in my face. Right there. Stop. <laughs> um, we've we're supposed to be going up there so now we're having to change our plans that's exactly yes. what uh cindy is doing right now on working a thousand on, trails website working on booking thank goodness a thousand trails does not charge you to cancel as long as you cancel early enough yep um so i'm trying to finagle some dates so we are having to adjust and kind of pivot our um our plans now um, at least for that first part we we pray that it doesn't take too long we're not actually scheduled to be in Maine until I think September or late August, very late August. It's the last week of August is when we'll be and in Maine. So, so they technically have a month. That was like the highlight of our trip too, because we're staying right in Acadia yeah. um, National Park. So we're definitely going to try to make that trip. I don't care if I have to rent a van to, uh, to go see that. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just wanted to kind of give you guys an update. You know, we're having some water issues with our rig, and uh, we're having to change our plans. So if you're thinking about living full-time in an RV, just know that flexibility is going to be key. Oh, yes. What? But, yeah, just wanted to get you guys up to speed with what was going on with our uh, with our Grand Design. I will say Grand Design has been awesome to work with. Yeah, we uh, did send an email with the pictures little videos and, and pictures and stuff. So hopefully if they think they have to replace the door, maybe they can get it into the paint booth sooner. Yeah. The other thing is we have full body paint, as you guys know. Yeah, so, so that's what we're really worried about. I hope those lines match up after they put that new door back on. Right. So if they need to, um, if they need more pictures of like the graphics and stuff, so they can do it beforehand, I will be glad to send them whatever they need. Yeah. So that it's a quick. Swap Hopefully, out. it's just a template or something that they use. Yeah. All right. Well, more to come on this, I'm sure. Uh, as the uh, story develops, we will be sharing it with you.